Hello everyone, I am Gilya Khan and today we will discuss uh, the electromagnetic phase topics as well and we will see what term is meaning what and what topic, what subject is meaning what. So if you want to uh, solve the questions beforehand, uh, you can do, I will appreciate it and suggest, I will suggest this action. And now we can solve the questions. Yeah. The magnetic field of a plane and electromagnetic wave moving along to the axis is given by this formula. So this is the quantity B0, K, and also epsilon 0, C, if we need them. So first question is thus, what is the, electro, uh, what is the electric field vector of this uh, magnet, electromagnetic wave? So uh, how we can find the electro, electric field in that? Actually, the electric field and the uh, magnetic field relation between the uh, inside the uh, electromagnetic wave is we can write it as, it as E equals actually uh, yes actually E equals C B this is the magnitude of it but also we have to find the vector uh, direction as well so how we, have, how we can do this then? now uh, I will draw the uh, uh, probable axis is in here so this is our x-axis, this is our y-axis and this is our z-axis now uh, we will we know actually that from the right hand rule if we apply this question uh, we can uh, we should be able to find the direction of electric field because our moving direction is top side so z side, z axis side so my first finger directs that so my other four fingers should direct to the uh, electric field direction and the, my uh, inside of the hand should you know, look at to the uh, magnetic wave direction so this uh, inside should move from the y axis because it's positive uh, j hat in here b so my four fingers directs x axis and my top first finger is uh, directs to the z axis so from now we can see that the electric field direction from the positive x axis direction therefore it should be i hat now also we know what is c what is b so we can write them as electric field vector equals to uh, c times b0 times cosine uh, kz plus omega t this part is actually uh, just the magnetic field vector and also I need to put a I hat to denote the direction of the electric field now we know what is C at B0 actually in here and in here also uh, we can write this KZ omega T from the next part we can find it and we can write it as well now we can find this as you know, equals to let's put it here and let me erase this so actually I can maybe draw later in here so uh, the C is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 and B0 is 5 times uh, 10 to the power of minus 10 uh, also cosine term will appear here so this is equals to uh, 1.5 times Actually, I can direct write it as 0 0.15 times cosine kz plus omega t. Also, actually, I can you know show this direction to the this is as uh, the electromagnetic base direction, you know, for forward direction. And in here, I have positive x-axis uh, electric wave, so. Uh, this is the y axis, also y x if it moves like that. Okay, so uh, relation between them as them are actually while it is moving in here. Oops, so this is the x axis is electric field direction, and for the y direction, uh, uh, oops. Maybe I no. This direction is x-axis for maybe I missed it a little bit. 
confused, but uh, let's say this is the z direction, this is the x, and this is the y direction. So if we are moving forward to them, then this is the x direction, and this is my electric fields, you know, uh, show up. This is positive side, this is negative side, and this is my magnetic fields, how it appears in here. Actually, they are like that, and these are like that for the y, for the x, and so z direction. So, they are always negative side. If electric field is positive, then magnetic field is negatively oriented. And uh, yes, therefore, this is the electric wave and the magnetic electric field and the magnetic field relation between inside the uh, electromagnetic wave. So, for the fact we we are asking for the find the frequency and the wavelength lambda. So, uh, how can how we can find these uh, quantities? Actually, we know one thing. This can appears in here. So, this is our actually the wavelength because this z uh, corresponds to shift in the axis. Uh, yes, for the omega t, you know, this is actually cosine omega t, basically a harmonic function uh, that shows the relation of how this uh, frequency appears in here. So, inside the, for the uh, electromagnetic field. At this case, uh, this z is shift factor, and this z corresponds to, since this z corresponds to shift factor, this case should be equal to 1 over lambda. And actually, you know what is the 1 over lambda in here? So, uh, after finding lambda, we can also find the frequency because uh, actually the wavelength, wavelength equals uh, c over frequency or c times period we can write it as that so we can find from in here lambda and then also we can find frequency as this means f equals c over lambda so c times k actually we can write so we can write that c times k and this is equals to uh, this quantity times this quantity which gives us 3 times 3.14 times uh, 3 times 10 to the power of 9 is 9 and 10 to the power of 8 so 10 to the power of 6 so the frequency equals actually 2 uh, 4 9.42 times 10 to the power of 6 hertz so also we can find in here what is lambda so lambda is 1 over k So one over k is basically oops, 100 or 3.14. This is the actually meter. Yes. So for the c part, we are asking for the uh, pointing vector, average of the pointing vector. And what is pointing vector? Actually, pointing vector means the uh, energy carrying on the unit area per meter. This is the uh, relation uh, for, for per meter square, yes. This is the unit area energy means corresponds to. So what is s? It's actually uh, s equals to e times e cross b actually. Actually, this is not equal to that. Over two mu zero equals to uh, s vector. Sorry, this is not two in appears in here. E cross electric field cross magnetic field over mu zero equals to pointing vector. But when I want to take average of these things, well, I will obtain. So, actually, when I want to take average of this, I will take magnitude of B and I will take magnitude of B. And since there are the, uh, the epsilon zero and B zero, so for example, CB zero is the amplitude of electric field, E zero, maximum. And B0 is the maximum amplitude of the magnetic field. And I want to you know, take average of them, so uh, I will use uh, root mean square theorem. So I will use root mean square values for them. So, actually, for the average, uh, in average, the total energy is B0 over square root of 2, which is uh, B root mean square value. This is the average magnitude. If you know, I propagate. Uh, uh, 
you know, uniform uh, field or something like that. It corresponds to that. If I can say it one, this is one over square root two. Therefore, I will write this like that. So it means as average equals without vector notation, by the way. Uh, this electric field times magnetic field actually, basically. So uh, yes, I can write this E B. What is E zero actually? E zero I know in here. Oh, I found it here. So zero point fifteen. Actually times. Uh, what is B zero magnitude? Five times ten to the minus ten. So there are the magnitudes. Cosine magnitude is always one. Uh, so I don't care it. Actually, total magnitude is that. So therefore, I will also divide it to two times mu zero. But also I can write mu zero as you know from the formula c equals one over square root two mu zero epsilon zero. I can write mu zero as equals to uh, yes. What is the corresponding? I will take the square root. So mu zero equals one over c square epsilon zero. I can find it for me in here. So uh, what is the c square? Where I wrote it down. Okay. So one over nine times ten to the power of six, and epsilon zero four times nine times ten to the power of minus ten. So actually, this is the one over eight one times ten to the power of four. Yeah. So I can write it in here. So substituting it gives me the value of the point vectors average value. So this question is in total that. That's the real solution. Now we have another question from Open Textbook also this as well. Uh, Euros to Physics Volume 2, Chapter 16, and the question 63 is that. But for this question, question is 58. So, a diameter communication satellite receives signals have a maximum electric field strength 8 microvolts. It says, you know, this is the R satellite and it's, you know, receives some electromagnetic waves like that. Also, the degree is perpendicular. The waves are perpendicular to the antenna. So, it says, as for us, what is the intensity of this uh, intensity of the electromagnetic waves? So how we can find it? Actually, the intensity of the electromagnetic waves are same as the average point, average value of the pointing vector. They are the same, you know, uh, quantities. Also corresponds to the same things. So uh, I can write this same one over two mu zero times e times b. But not that this intensity always, you know, uh, magnitude. Yeah, no, uh, it shows that. So, but uh, I am given just for the electric field epsilon zero. So this is equals to epsilon zero. I said sorry, uh, e zero, the amplitude of the electric field. So how can I convert it? Actually, we shown that b equals to e over c. So in this formula. So I can use this as b equals e over c. So equals to I you know substitute electric field over C for the B. So E square over two times C times mu zero. But also I said that I can write mu zero as one over C square epsilon zero. So what I left with is C times epsilon zero times E square over two. Yes. This is the mind intensity of the, uh, this electromagnetic wave. So what is this equal to? I know what is C, I know what is epsilon zero. So three times 10 to the power of eight and times nine times 10 to the power of minus 12, right? Yes. So I have given it the uh, E zero value. Actually, this is E zero, this is E zero, but this is E zero, B zero. So uh, times, uh, 8 square 64 
and the Mikolos, since it is, I will put a tenth power of my value in here, also I will divide them with two. So what I obtain in here is uh, 27, let's divide this, so 27 times 32 times 10 to the minus 12 times to the minus 12, 14, 10 to the minus 16, power 16. I obtain in here. This is the thing. So, it says what is the power received by antenna. Actually, we have calculated in here for power obtained by antenna for a unit area. So, I will multiply with this uh, the area of the antenna. But, not that. The antenna's diameter is 2 meters, so its radius is 1 meter, and its area is from uh, actually, yes, pi, because from the pi r square formula. So I will just multiply this intensity with the area of the power it goes. So actually, this is all. Let's also calculate this as well. This is what, by the way, uh, what per meter square, yes. So, what is this value? 270, 270 times 3, 0, 21, 7, no, 8, 800, right? From that, and also plus 14. This is equals to 8.64 times 10 to the power of minus 16, also, um, for it, sorry, minus 14. And also from this, a value I obtain pi. So this is the what is what value the power received by the antenna. Now for the last question, if the orbiting satellite broadcasts you from over an area of 1.5 times to the power of 13 meters square, how much power does it radiate? Radius, it says. So if this uh, area becomes actually the intensity doesn't change, so I will use the same formula. This is the power received by the antenna now. I will calculate the power, you know, uh, radiated by the satellite, power satellite, let's say, equals. So intensity is say, I will directly write it as, yes. so 8.64 times 10 to the power of minus 14. Yes, also times pi, I have, I'm uh, sorry, not pi in here, because the pi is area of the, uh, you know, antenna. And over an area 1.5 times 10 to the power of 13. So this is my, uh, you know, radiated power, and I will see it as these cancels. So I will obtain 10 to the power of minus one. Now so I will multiply with this 1.5. So uh, I will divide it by 2, 4, 3, 2. Now sum them up. 9, 12. So, 1.296 watts, this uh, satellite radiates the power. So, as you see, the relations between them are actually basic. The only thing we should do is remember the formulas and the meaning of them. So, this intensity will react corresponds to intensity and it means the unit area received power. And when I want to calculate the power for the whole area, whole area, uh, I will multiply this intensity with A for this question. And also for the first question, the pointing vector meaning pointing vector actually actually corresponds to you know the coming electromagnetic wave to as you know unit area. And the, its average value is actually equals to intensity, its magnitude equals to intensity. So for the P part, we know that lambda equals actually 1 over K. K actually uh, corresponds to, you know, uh, number of waves for a second, okay, coming in a second. So, uh, this is lambda, so lambda 1 over K is equals to lambda, or 1 over lambda equals to K. And for the frequency, we know that lambda equals C times C over frequency. And also we know that uh, lambda equals 1 over K. From that, yes, we can see that F equals so C over lambda, so equals C over K in here. And for the first part, we you know examine the electric field and the magnetic field relations. And 
you know that the magnitude of electric field equals to c times you know the speed of light times magnetic field magnitude and for the you know uh, finding uh, the directions of that we will use the right hand rule so for the applying the right, right hand rule our you know first finger should have finger should direct to the uh, propagation direction of the electromagnetic field uh, electromagnetic wave and our four remaining four fingers should you know direct to the force direct force to the electric magnetic field direction and inside of our hand should you know show to the magnetic field direction i hope this video will be beneficial for me and if you have any questions please leave comments and thank you for listening Thank you.